I think that I've been really successful in developing an online community in my classrooms. And you know, people say that's the biggest struggle or they would believe that to be the biggest struggle, but there's ways to do it for sure. And uh, it also puts to rest the notion that online learners don't want an online community. They do want one, you know, so it's within, um, it's your responsibility as a professor to develop that. I am uh, piloting a, um, a Zoom virtual office hours. So um, everybody, uh, I'll create a, a Zoom link and pass it out to the class and just randomize the class and everybody has to sign in at a specific time. And it's just a kind of a checkpoint to see, you know, how you doing, see them face to face, you know, and I'm kind of sitting there in my kitchen doing this, you know, doing, having my evening tea and, um, you know, I said it's not formal, it's not, you know, just to see how any issues that they've had. And then, of course, I have, if there have been any issues, I have the log in Blackboard about any um, emails they may have sent me or whatever, because um, sometimes students ask a question like, you know, uh, that just doesn't lend itself to an email response. You want to be able to expound on something. You want to be able to connect at a deeper level. I shape my discussion board questions so that they become increasingly intimate as the semester goes on. And so at the beginning, they don't have to bear too much that's, you know, about their personal beliefs and values, but by the end they do. And they already then have developed a familiarity and a, a level of comfort with one another that allows them to be really open and honest about who they are. I think it's fun to uh, view other people's ideas. I try not to determine whether it's right or wrong. I just want to make sure that they're understanding the theory that's being presented in the textbook or the concepts I'm trying to get across mm -hmm. so they can apply it to whatever real world situation it is. And so, again, most of my students are adult returning students who have workplace experience. And so they're sharing this theory and their real world application and how it does work, how it does not work, the good experiences, the bad experiences. And I, 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 I enjoy seeing that. I enjoy reading about it and how people share and learn from each other. I actually get to know the students much better in the online environment, each and every one of them. Uh, it's much more connected. The class is, I think, much more connected than it is in a live class. That's a large class on a regular basis. You know, I have students that hate that tell me that they hate to see the class end because they enjoyed the debates and discussions that they normally wouldn't have. I get a tremendous amount of fulfillment out of it, uh, more than I would say I get, you know, when you're just a talking head in front of the room. Um, I also learn a lot more of myself in the teaching environment um, because students post things and I have time to read them. And I, in fact, I make the time to read them because it's a feedback between you and the student more than just you speak, they listen, they take an exam over. You know, this is more of a give and take back and forth between them. So I find it more fulfilling. Mm -hmm.